Hey guys, PMHK here, obviously. Now, still in the spirit of upgrading my gear and uh, setup, I've already actually bought a new uh, sort of stool that I made a video on. I think I have a reel on that. I've also changed the table. This is the table where I do my videos. Now I am going to upgrade my monitor. This here is a Samsung monitor. This is a smart monitor M8 and is a 32 inch 4k uh monitor now let's unbox this guy while as usual i speak a little bit about the monitor itself now this guy here is going to serve as a couple of things because it does a lot of things i know i'm not really saying much by saying that but this monitor here as the name says is a smart monitor so you're going to be able or i am going to be able to not only do what a monitor would do which i normally use it is to edit my videos but um since it's a smart monitor you also have the functionality sort of a smart tv that's what it does so it's a smart tv hub as well also as a gaming hub all in one so i'm gonna be showing you guys all the things i'm actually talking about and it's also actually a smart home hub i used to actually back in the days use smart things to control my home devices but nowadays i am moving to home kit as a place where i actually control my smart devices in the box you get the power brick which is a hefty one this is really heavy uh, it's a white one and with a gray cable and uh yeah that's all sort of you get oh, you also get the remote control this is a monitor but it comes also with the remote control have a couple of more accessories this is a webcam now this guy here has been on my wish list for a while and yesterday it actually went on sale almost 30 percent i don't know if they were just clearing and i decided to buy one but it was basically either i buy this guy here or i buy playstation 5 but i decided to buy this guy because i'm going to be doing a lot more with it than i would be doing with the playstation 5 which it was around the same price ish and i can actually also play xbox games because it supports xbox games hopefully it functions here in south africa okay so this is the panel uh, hopefully i won't drop and actually this big table is helping a lot in this process i normally go to the kitchen when i'm unboxing something uh really big all right so i'm assuming this is the panel itself this will be the stand so let's go and unbox the stand as you guys can see this is actually a pretty thin monitor uh the other option also would have been buying the apple monitor and funny enough you can actually also airplay stuff from your apple devices to this monitor and this is the samsung monitor okay so let's assemble this guy here I'm gonna assemble the stand um i'm assuming this one is the one that goes in the bottom let's move this guy on the side this is the one that goes in the bottom this should be the top one there we go should go somewhere there do i need to screw anything on i do not think so because i see no screws okay i see one okay so there is one uh right there i just need to i think tighten this guy up and i should be good uh i normally keep kept my screwdrivers on the drawers that i used to have there as you guys can see also i sort of changed the look behind uh but yeah uh, so far this is what we have let me let me screw this thing just in case okay this guy won't do all right so we're going to need that screwdriver after all okay so since my screwdrivers are a bit out of reach uh we're gonna have to use <laughs> some knives i mean a man gotta do what a man gotta do that's done and oh, 
whoa okay so the monitor can go up and down as you guys can see and tilt up and down which is wow it's really tough tilts a little bit so here's the monitor itself it's really huge this is a 32 inch monitor as i mentioned a smart monitor in white as i like most of my accessories and devices so oh, this is huge so this guy will go up there and click all right <laughs> it's actually quite huge look at that all right so the monitor itself is up up and away let's put it aside uh we also have a little usb-c adapter i don't know what this usb-c adapter is for uh but let's unbox the the webcam there we go i'm guessing it's oh yeah it's an adapter for the webcam so that one goes in there and the webcam actually plugs right there i don't know if you guys can see the back right there that's where the webcam goes right bam and bam there we go we got a webcam if you have to make those conference calls okay time to power it on all right comes with the usb-c cable on the box okay you have a great usb-c cable i'm assuming this guy is gonna have enough power to power maybe a laptop if you want to use it with a laptop we have a usb uh this looks like a hdmi to macro hdmi it's a small hdmi similar to the one that my camera used uh, if this one was long enough i was actually gonna start using it on my camera to the monitor where i watch myself doing these unboxings okay and this is the power all right oh yeah and we got the remote as well uh, this here is the remote control i normally call these things remote uh because that's what we used to call it in portuguese but most of the people this side call it or most of the people that speak english i'm not an english born speaker what's or not they call it controller controller or remote yeah controller because it controls we tend to call it remote so but it's remote control so it's the same thing so uh, as you guys can see that's the remote control pretty tiny pretty slick uh, and this is the power cord so let me pour it on and do the setup and then i'm gonna show you guys while once it's inside once the panel is actually showing something all right so i am done with the setup it's actually the next day i managed to set it up yesterday night i used it for a bit i even watched some netflix that's the only uh, streaming service that i actually set up we have a bad news but the rest is good the good news is as i said everything seems to be working fine you have your media area here where you find all your streaming devices which is good then you have your workplace here let's just go inside you can connect this monitor wirelessly to your windows pc if you have one you can actually also connect it to your mac so inside the windows pc if we go there it gives you a couple of options you can either download this easy connection on your device on your windows device and then you install it and then you return on your work home screen to connect it to your pc you have easy manual connection and uh screen sharing similarly also on the mac side it's basically screen sharing or screen mirroring as they say it here or you can connect it uh to the monitor remotely but i'm going to be using it directly connected to my mac i have a mac mini still if you guys remember i haven't upgraded or i haven't changed yet you also have web services so if you are subscribed to windows 360 i'm assuming you can connect directly to here so if you have to work on your window on your let's say microsoft word uh document you can do it straight from the monitor obviously you're gonna have to connect it to a keyboard which i have my keyboard here 
you would have to connect your keyboard and your mouse which i am charging mine it's a bit flat and down here you have your connected device if you have anything connected to it wirelessly you have your smart things this is the smart hub which will allow you to connect your smart devices if you are on the on the samsung side of things and your user as i mentioned i used to use it in the past but i don't use it anymore the remote is actually really really functional it's really sleek it charges via usb-c which is a good thing i don't have to be changing batteries one other good thing that actually monitor does is like you can broadcast your content from your phone using ada the chromecast functionality as well as if you are on the apple side of things you can use it there as well i actually forgot what's called on the apple side of things now the setup as i mentioned is already set up the setup was quite easy it only asks you to connect to your wi-fi which i found it a bit weird that i couldn't connect to my 5 gigahertz wi-fi i only connected to the standard one although it was picking up my neighbors now going to the downside of things is the gaming hub which was basically the second most important feature that i actually got this monitor for the gaming hub unfortunately is only available in certain countries and south africa is currently not one of them normally the gaming icon should be appearing here i actually restored updated and just to see if it's going to come and appear here and show it here but it didn't work and then after a while i did some research and i found out that it's not available in south africa which is something that i should have done before buying the monitor but the monitor is already here so there is basically nothing i can do so now let me try and connect my mac hopefully i'll be able to connect it uh, directly and as you guys can tell this is a really beautiful monitor it actually has really thin edges or thin border the only thick border that is here it's this one uh down here i'm really not sure what this is for but if i had to guess i'd say it's what receives the ir connection or ir blaster from uh the remote but these are not buttons the buttons the way you control this monitor is you have a little joystick here at the back obviously if you're not connect controlling it from the remote which i'll hardly really use this hence i like the fact that this monitor comes with the remote all right so it recognizes the monitor now it's scanning for devices obviously we already found the device so this is my Mac connected to the monitor. I actually already like how it looks. Okay, struggling. All right, I'm in. Uh, hopefully I can make this a little bit bigger because it's really tiny. Much better. There you go. Okay, and then if you want to move away, let's say I've done some editing, work done, move away. I just grab my remote, press home, head to bed, go maybe somewhere media if i have my prime video in i've got the prime video if i have my apple tv or apple tv but most of the time i'll probably go to netflix and we can watch some miss education all right uh this is gonna be it for this video obviously if you guys have any questions uh, i'm going to be <laughs> using this monitor from now on i'm going to remove the one from my room i'm probably gonna buy a mount for that one and use that one as a sort of camera monitor for my uh, b camera right here or even for the main camera when i'm shooting vertical videos don't forget to rate comment and subscribe if you're not already and i'm going to catch you guys on my next one